Good morning, and welcome to the Lafayette High School 2021 graduation. Please remain standing for the next few moments. To begin today's ceremony, DeMarco Lawrence, president of the senior class, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Following the Pledge of Allegiance, please remain standing as the Lafayette Honors Choir leads us in the singing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing and join the Lafayette Choir, led by director Kimberly Ness, in the singing of Lafayette's alma mater. The lyrics are located in your graduation program. Please be seated. Good morning. 
And what a beautiful morning it is. And welcome to our families, friends, colleagues, graduating seniors, distinguished guests, Superintendent Dr. Heron, members of the superintendent's leadership team, Lafayette faculty and staff, and other invited guests. We're excited you're here to honor our seniors on this special occasion. My name is Dan Miani, proud principal of Lafayette High School. On behalf of our dedicated faculty and staff, I welcome you to this wonderful celebration of graduation of our class of 2021. Congratulations, seniors. The faculty and staff of Lafayette High School are very proud of you. You've worked hard and achieved great things during your high school tenure. We have four National Merit Commended graduates, four Governor School for Science and Technology graduates, and two WJCC Honor Program graduates. Additionally, our seniors have opportunities ahead, including work, military, technical schools, as well as continued studies at two and four-year colleges and universities throughout the United States. Parents, families, friends, thank you for your partnership. Your support has enabled our school to thrive and facilitate a school culture that promotes excellence. Congratulations to you for being a positive influence in your child's life and getting your child to this special day of graduation today. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to introduce our distinguished guests. I'll ask each guest to stand when recognized and remain standing until all guests are introduced. Dr. Owen Heron, WJCC Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Jim Kelly, WJCC School Board Chair. Mr. Greg Dow, Jr., WJCC School Board Vice Chair. Ms. Lisa Ownby, WJCC School Board Member. Ms. Sandra Young, WJCC School Board Member. The Honorable Amanda Batten, Virginia House of Delegates. Mr. Pat Dent, Vice Mayor of Williamsburg. Mr. John McLennan, Member of the James City County Board of Supervisors. Mr. Ad Edward Maslin, Williamsburg City Council. And Ms. Barbara Ramsey, Williamsburg City Council. Thank you. Finally, I'm honored to recognize one amazing group of compassionate educators, the Lafayette faculty and staff. Please stand and be recognized. Without your commitment, compassion, and dedication to your students and our community, Lafayette would not be the exceptional place for learning that it is today. Thank you for your tireless energy, extended effort, personal sacrifice, and commitment to our school's vision of supporting every RAM every day. The class of 2021 has reached this milestone in their lives because of you. You're deeply appreciated by everyone in the community. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to recognize two students whose notable academic achievements are reflected in the coveted honor seals and their diplomas. To achieve these honors, these students complete a variety of advanced placement courses, including the examinations, as well as in-depth foreign language study, significant community service, and independent honors projects. As I call your name, please stand. Our first recipient is Anne Ryan Garys. Ann Ryan is a daughter of Christopher and Molly Garys. Her love of language inspired her honors project, which was a play for the fourth graders at Laura Lane Elementary School. The play outlined five different countries, their customs and languages. She hopes to educate others on cultural and linguistic awareness. Ann Ryan is a member of numerous honor societies, the Model UN, and the Colonial Williamsburg Fife and Drum Corps. She plans to attend the College of William and Mary, in the fall where she will double major in business and French. Our second recipient is Isabel Maeve O'Connor. <laughs> Isabel is the daughter of Terry and Caroline O'Connor. Isabel is interested in promoting 
Environmental Awareness, which inspired her honors project. She started a monthly environmental newsletter for third graders at Matthew Whaley Elementary School. She works at a cafe that helps to promote healthy plant-based eating, which ties into her interest in sustainability. For the past four years, Isabel is a member of the indoor and outdoor track teams. She also ran for the cross country team and served as a varsity team captain her senior year. Her plans after graduation are to attend the University of Virginia where she will major in sociology. It is customary each year to recognize the two students who have earned the highest cumulative grade point averages during their high school years. As I call your name, please stand. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Danielle Elizabeth Sido. The salutatorian of the class of 2021. Danielle, daughter of Philip and Sue Sido, has been eager to make the most of her time at Lafayette High School. Academically, she's been enrolled in the New Horizons Governor's School for Science and Technology for the past two years, where she has taken courses in advanced chemical and biological analysis, college calculus, research methodology and ethics, differential equations, and honors research and mentorship. Additionally, Danielle has successfully completed advanced placement classes in chemistry, English language and literature, and social studies. She's a member of Mu Alpha Theta, National English, and National Science Honor Societies. Danielle is finishing her high school career with a 4.416 GPA. In the fall, she will attend the University of Virginia where she plans to major in biology. Finally, we are proud of our valedictorian for the class of 2021. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Elizabeth Rose Chasen. Ellie, daughter of Eric and Anna Chasen, has been involved in all aspects of life at Lafayette High School. Academically, she has also been enrolled in the New Horizons Governor's School for Science and Technology, where she is studying in their computer science strands, which includes college and multivariable calculus, computational physics, engineering design and innovation, and honors research and mentorship. She is a member of the STEM Club and the Latin National Honor Society. Ellie has completed advanced placement courses in Latin, English language, and literature, and social studies. Ellie is finishing her high school career with a 4.428 GPA. In the fall, she will attend Vanderbilt University where she plans to major in computer science. Elizabeth, Danielle, Ann Ryan, and Isabel, we commend your academic pursuit, your many accomplishments, your leadership, your example, and your commitment to the highest standard of learning and academic integrity. Bravo for a job well done. Thank you. Each year, a committee of faculty members reviews applications from our senior class to select speakers during commencement. Please welcome our first student speaker, Asante Damaja Mero. Asante Mero is the daughter of Rashida Mero and David Granger. This year, Asante participated in an early college program and has earned 17 college credits while in high school. She has been a Lafayette cheerleader for all four years, as well as a member of the French Honor Society. Asante plans on attending Howard University in the fall, where she will study biology and health sciences in order to become a pediatric surgeon. She will address the senior class and community this morning with her speech entitled, Time is Limited, We Learn. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for welcoming me, Dr. Miani. As stated, my name is Asante Mero. I'm shocked myself to even be standing up here today. 
I walked into Lafayette as a student hiding behind all the others. I was shy and kept to myself. Out of all my 13 years of schooling, I could have never predicted I'd be in this position right now, but I'm here representing the senior class of 2021. I'd like to acknowledge everyone who made this day possible for all of us. The parents, teachers, family, friends, and the unforgettable faculty and staff. Thank you. We definitely should thank ourselves as well because we are the ones graduating. My senior quote was, at the end of the day, the fact that we have courage to still be standing is reason enough to celebrate. It is. There are so many times where I wanted to just give up everything. Sometimes where it felt impossible to do anything. I know everyone else has a story to tell similar to mine, but we all made it here. We found a way to keep going even when we didn't want to, when we didn't know how. When our teachers gave us assignments, quizzes, and tests that seemed so unreasonable, we still completed them. When our parents stressed us out about the littlest things, we kept going and realized that they mattered. We found a way to adjust to all the new policies and guidelines due to COVID. We no longer saw each other five days a week in person. There was no pep rally, homecoming, prom, senior skip day, senior breakfast, a pool party, or senior block party. We didn't experience any normal senior activities, but we found a way to continue existing as best we could. We always found a way for anything that happened. Life is nothing but moments. Appreciate the moments you've been given because no matter how beautiful or how tragic a moment is, it always ends. As much as I've looked forward to this day, I've always disliked endings, but this is the start to new beginnings. This is one of those moments. It's easy to forget about living in the moment before it becomes a memory. I'm happy to say I remember meeting some of my, some of my classmates in early elementary school, some in middle school, and that I've had the opportunity to meet everyone else once I hit high school. I like that we all have great chemistry. I've always said and always will say our class was the most spirited. It felt like we were the most connected with each other. Just looking out at the stands from the sideline made me so happy. We have to hold on to every moment we've had together because whether we want to believe it or not, we will miss it. I admit that writing this speech was even harder than writing my thesis statement for an essay. But the most important thing to take away from it is that today is a day to be overly proud of yourself. Yes, a graduation is a normal event, but this marks the start of our individual stories that we'll tell from here on out. I'm ready, you're ready, we're ready. Congratulations to my senior classmates. Thank you for everyone's attention in this unforgettable opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Asante. Our second speaker is James Howard Tisk. James is a son of Adam and Susan Tisk. He is a member of Mock Trial, the Scholastic Bowl, and numerous honor societies. Additionally, he's a part of the forensics team and plays first in the state this year. James will be attending Ohio State University in the fall, where he plans on studying economics and statistics. He will now address the senior class and the community with his speech entitled, The Stories We Can Share. Thank you. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, it's obviously a huge moment. I'd like to thank my family for supporting me through all these years of school and all the struggles that we've had. Um, let's begin. As a class, we have all achieved one of the greatest accomplishments in the modern era. Someday in the future, when we have moved past college or whatever else life has in store for us, we are going to be able to take a look back on the year 2021 with a very unique lens. The next generation after us is going to be reading about this pandemic in a history book, and they will have no idea about the magnitude of the events that have transpired this past year. For we are part of an exclusive club, a club that can say that they officially graduated high school during a pandemic. But despite this shared bond being a part of this exclusive club, each of us has something unique to share. We all have some story that we have developed through these times, and it will be something that we will be able to share for years in the future, long after we have graduated high school. 
While we all have shared this experience together, we have all experienced it differently. In the future, when we are talking to our kids about what it was like in high school, we will all have a unique story to share. Our high school memories are very unique to each and every one of us. We have made certain memories and have done certain things that will linger with us for the rest of our lives. The thing is, every graduating class before and after us can state this. However, no other graduating class can state that their senior year was like ours was. Despite that, despite all of our struggles that we've had our senior year, we are now graduating. We are moving on with our lives onto the individualized paths that each of us are taking. It is true that some of us might remain friends for the rest of our lives, but it is equally true that some of us may never see each other or talk to each other again after today. But as we grow older, we are able to share our stories that have been shaped by this pandemic and by our high school experience as a whole. For this class of 2021, I know that we have lost so much that we will never be able to get back. But we should remember all of the positive memories and things that we have done in our lives and in our high school experience. We have simply done so much as a class. We have won countless games in all of our sports. We have excelled in theater performances. We have created skillful works of art, and we have surpassed all expectations in class. We have all pushed ourselves to be the very best that we can be. And for all of us, that avenue of effort has been channeled into very different ways. However, this moment is simply not a recollection of our numerous achievements. This is the culmination of our hard work over these past four years, and being here and graduating is simply an impressive enough accomplishment. To close off, I implore each and every one of you to recall your fondest memories here at Lafayette, for these are the stories that we can share. And to close off, finally, we have one more story to share as a class. We can officially say that we are all graduates of Lafayette High School. Congratulations to everyone here, for we have all earned this moment. Thank you. Thank you, James. At this time, please direct your attention to the monitors to hear the Lafayette Honors Band, under the direction of Mr. Jonathan Hargis, performing Journey in Concert by Paul Merthin.
We will now have our senior class officers share a few memories. Please stand as I call your name. Please direct your attention to the monitors behind me to hear our president, DeMarco Lawrence, Vice President, Bryce Cup, Secretary, Riley Tomek, Treasurer, Reagan Blannon, and reporter, Drew Dunn. Reflect on their years at Lafayette High School. You may be seated. As historian of our class, I thought it was most fitting to speak about freshman year, mostly because it feels like ages since we were that young. I had to dig deep into my memories to remember enough to speak about. We all came into Lafayette baby-faced and uncertain what high school would bring us. I think it's safe to say none of us expected a pandemic that kept us out of school for a year, but here we are. Freshman year was a year of many firsts. First year of being a Ram, first homecoming, first Lafayette football game in the student section, first time dealing with our amazingly eccentric Lafayette teachers, first time in somewhat difficult classes, first real final exams, and first time feeling like the best class of Lafayette. It was also a year of many lasts. Last year feeling lost in the halls, last time in the 4A sports conference, last time feeling like the babies of the school, and last year of the easy classes. All 300 something of us persevered through all of these high school experiences together. No matter if we experienced something for the first or last time, the class of 2021 was unified throughout. Sophomore year, the middle ground between the carelessness of freshman year and the inevitable chaos of junior year. We slowly began to find who we really are and express ourselves in new ways. We became fully immersed in the high school experience as our classes got a little more difficult and we learned new ways to manage our time. Regardless of the mistakes we made or the low grades we scored, there was still plenty of time for improvement. We were halfway there, but it sure didn't feel like it. We also looked on as the upperclassmen planned out their entire futures, thinking that was so far away. Ironically, the future was nothing like anybody had planned. We reflect back on sophomore year and cherish the memories as the last normal year before the world turned upside down. Junior year, the year the questions started rolling in. What classes should I take? Where should I volunteer? What school should I apply to? This was a year we finally got the title of upperclassmen. This title came with moving up in the student section at sporting events, competing with the seniors during pep rallies, and repping the color blue on class color day. This was a big year for a lot of us as we got the privilege of getting our driver's license and the freedom that came along with it. What a year to remember. Congratulations graduates, we made it. Senior year was not what the class of 2021 was hoping for. We had to give up countless traditions that we were accustomed to, such as sports at first, homecoming, prom, seeing our friends on a daily basis, and many more. Through all of the negative moments of this school year, the teachers were always by our side supporting us. They were very flexible with many assignments this year and really helped out a lot of students. Once we got to the second semester of school, things started to get better and feel more like normal. Fall sports got approved and games were allowed a limited fan base. Students were slowly brought back to learn in the school and the faculty has started to organize senior events. Although it wasn't the senior year many had hoped for, it was unique to our class and made this year feel special looking back. Each year of my high school experience taught me something different. Freshman year taught me to stay on top of my grades and a sense of responsibility. Sophomore year taught me to have fun in school and not dedicate all my time to schoolwork. Junior year taught me the importance of a balanced class load. Finally, senior year taught me that being lazy will come back to haunt me. Lafayette will always hold a special place in my heart, and I'm proud to be able to say that I was a Ram. Again, good morning and congratulations, Lafayette High School class of 2021. Over the Over the past four years, if you heard from your peers, you've encountered successes and failures, embraced new opportunities, and experienced a wide range of achievements, all of which have brought you to this special day. It is an honor to share this milestone event with you this morning amongst family, friends, faculty, and staff. Having the opportunity to serve the Lafayette community over the past four years, I've been inspired and so impressed by the achievements of the students seated here today. There are many accolades, too many to list, but I want to take a moment to highlight the recent state titles in theater and football and hope for some more from our spring sports that are still playing this weekend. Boys soccer, girls soccer, and baseball. Uh, 
I think I speak for everyone by acknowledging your resilience through all the change you've encountered over the past 15 months. At Lafayette, our students do not seek out success. Rather, they put forth their best effort and success finds them. I want to personally thank you for being a daily inspiration for your peers, underclassmen, faculty and staff by taking advantage of academic opportunities, participating in community events, advocating for change, and working to create a better school for those that will follow in your footsteps. You have set the bar high for your peers and have left a legacy at Lafayette High School, a legacy that each of you should be proud of. I hope you will take time to reflect on your high school years, to cherish the memories, focusing on the positive moments and the challenges you championed that have molded you into the person that you've become today. As one chapter of your journey ends, know that more lie ahead. You will continue to encounter highs and lows, create new memories, and set new goals. As you transition to this new stage of your life, remember your future is determined by one person, and that person is you. Jim Rohn said it best, for things to change, you have to change. So continue to set high expectations for yourself. Seek out new opportunities. Make good choices. Take time to take care of yourself and never, ever stop learning. In a few moments, you will be declared graduates and you will move your tassels to the left. This gesture signifies the alignment of the heart and the mind and is a gentle reminder that when you combine an educated mind with a heart full of passion, anything is possible. It has been an honor to serve as your principal. I cannot wait to see and hear about all the great things that you will accomplish after high school. Congratulations, class of 2021. You'll always hold a special place in our hearts. We're so very proud of you. Now for the good part. It is my pleasure to introduce our Honorable Superintendent, Dr. Owen Heron, who will assist with the awarding of the diplomas. Thank you, Dr. Mayani. This is a moment to feel a tremendous sense of pride and accomplishment, with much support and guidance along the way from family, friends, and of course, your teachers. Students, you have reached your goal. On behalf of the school board and staff, congratulations on your accomplishment. It is now time to award the diplomas. Dr. Mayani, do you certify completion of the graduation requirements by the Lafayette High School class of 2021? Superintendent Heron, I affirm to you that these seniors have met the requirements for graduation in the state of Virginia. <clears throat> by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I hereby grant certification of completion of graduation requirements to the students of the class of 2021. Dr. Mayani, you may proceed. Thank you, Dr. Heron. We will now begin our distinguished presentation of graduates of the Lafayette High School Class of 2021. Faculty, students, and ushers, please take your place for the awarding of diplomas. Asante Demisa Morrow. James Tisk.
DeMarco Tavon Lawrence. Isabel Maeve O'Connor. Best of luck to Isabel as she's leaving to compete in the state track and field meet in Lynchburg. <laughs> Michaela Allison Brown. Best of luck to Michaela as she also is leaving to go compete in the track and field meet in Lynchburg. Carlia Vancia Sadare de la Agene Wallace. Anaya Spichelle Tucker. Azoria Monet Ramsey. Kayshawn Lamont Warren. Dylan Lucas Hammock. Ronaldo Jean Luca Ayestas. Jaden Anthony Darius Bell. Misty Ann May Comer. Veronica Rita Conroy. Spencer Charles Hill. Daniel Enrique Gonzalez. Jolyn Amaya Daughtry. Kaylee Nicole Green. John William Estes Jr. Jacob Tyler Snodder. <laughs> Zeal Michael Martinez. Harper Grace Sensiba. Elizabeth Grace Moore. Rachel Allison Pitts. John Patrick O'Neill. Lawrence Edward Tyler the third. Kijan Andre Owens Moore. Joseph Morgan McCollum. Ilani Anaya Hamlin. Luke K. 
Calvin Barrow. Autumn Lee Falkenberry. William Adil Delgado Delgado. Christopher Jacob Gassner. Connor Nolan Huckins. Zachary Scott Kathlin. Taya Morgan Iverson. Thomas Neal Gardner, Jr. Michael Omar Green. Genevieve Virginia Nichols. Avant Dontrell Nelson. Stone Shamness Sherritts. Troy Marzea Lett. Ashley Jennifer Rogers. Connor Joseph Wilson Wright. Alexander Bishop Clee. Troy Joshua Branson. William Carter Brewer. Brendan Michael de Grandpre. Amelia Joy Botts. Aiden Robert Cresci. Macy Rees Brennigan. Thomas Walker Brewer. Darius Jaquan Jimison. Marquise Oziah Jackson. Aaliyah Nicole Basket Smith. Kayla Carmen Ward. Abigail Marie Slater. Faith Angelique Rivers. Sophia Bella Elizabeth Stoddard. Emily Elizabeth Sullivan. Olivia Ming Palmer.
Taylor Gabrielle Thomas. Isabella Renee Spencer. Layla Tyree Simons. Garrett Whitman Wright. Brianna Kiara Gibson. Kayla Nicole Jacobs. Heather Danielle Herrick. Janessa Yashin Cole. Takara Ariane Brown Shackleford. Khalil Lamar Giles. Dylan Matthew Homashevsky. Drew Thomas Dunn. Kent James Lee Grants. Ann Ryan Garys. Kaylin Diane Kuhn. <laughs> Brianna Lynn Smith. <laughs> Samantha Joelle Venable. Mackenzie Rose Whitehead. <laughs> Sylvia Radlin Ann Strawn. <laughs> Malaysia Destiny Preston. Rihanna Elizabeth Mamaril. <laughs> Bailey Elizabeth Toron. <laughs> Oakley Huff Ownby Connolly. Brandon Zane Simpson. Tamar Darnell Jones. Gabriel Edward Eves. Eduardo Felipe Basantes Jr. <laughs> Nashawn Malik Dennis. <laughs> Elizabeth Rose Chasen. Reagan Mackenzie Blanding. <laughs> Hannah, 
Hannah Grace Gallagher. Sophie Louise Contrucci. Tyree Javion Davis. Deja Unique Bailey. Eugene Rodriguez, Jr. Abigail Lee Worley. Andrew Charles Allison Levine. Caroline Whitfield Richardson. Gabriella Giselle Molina. Shania Lachey Woodley. Aaron Chambers Zimmerman. Andrew Warhol Rogers. Winston Oliver Stanley. May Catherine O'Neill. Jadeen Elizabeth Griffin. Rakira Eliza Roche Davis. Austin Michael Hunsucker. Blake William Edward Eberly. Donnell Alexander Bartlett, Jr. Griffin Samuel Lewis Hartley. Marina Elizabeth Earl. Riley Victoria Karn. Haley Bland Cook. Haley Bland Cook. Nathan Thomas Clements. Maya Grace Reese. Savannah Vale St. Clair. Danielle Elizabeth Sido. Michaela Lynn Whiting. Samuel Aaron Turner.
Isaiah Anthony Merritt. Eric Omar Velasquez. Trinity Monet Piggott. Owen Patrick Mahaney. Caden Alexander Petty. Jocelyn Rachel Fellows. Kaylee Eden Farron. Chance Azriel Ross. India Nichelle Jones. Caballero. Sarah Nicole Caballero. Jonathan Michael Burkett. Jacqueline Ann Crouch. Ethan Patrick Riley Jenkins. Sharn Lamar Brown Jr. Ryan Alexander Gray. Parker Evan Sykes. Hunter Lee Shook. Chance Paige Smith. Luis Alexis Torres Rivera. Alex Jonathan Rodriguez. Catherine Jean Lawrence. Andrew Brem Stewart. Yesenia Iris Lemus. Victoria Renee McDaniel. Jada Kimani Spratley. Anna Marie Clark. Ariel Faith Ann Clips. Victoria Ann Gentry. Leanna Renee Howard. Malcolm Amaru Jordan. Myrick Tyquell Harris. Lamond Latrell Jones. Lamont Lee Jones Jr. Jariah LaShawn 
Austin. Alicia Marie Jones. Destiny Lynn Samuels. Riley Marie Tomek. Brooke Renee Schlimmy. Kevin Scott Leonard. Raj Bagesh Vora. Miguel Oliver Real. Reed Allen Overton. Evan Michael Utney. Connor Scott Kramerick. Andrew Thomas LaRose. Jordan Thomas Anderson. Austin Michael Anderson. Zara Header. Hirat Ira Isifu. Kevin Michael D'Alessandro. Ethan Thomas Burke. Anthony Leroy Jones. Mia Elaine Hostetter. Megan Elizabeth Davis. Dennis Thomas Champa Jr. Destiny Essence Leva. Alexis Rose Robinson. Lily Savannah King. Mason Turner Ship. Paul Eugene Marlet the Fourth. Elmer Adiel Martinez Bolanos. Kelsey Trinity McBride. <laughs> T. 
Tiffany Rose Morris. Riley Ann Vinson. Sarah Elizabeth Stevens. Zavin McDaniel Epperson. Bryce Alexander Cup. Chadrick Todd Irvin. Omar Terrell Hudson. Mitchell Alexander Diggs. Anna Catherine Harmony Chavez. Josue Javier Ayestas. Jackson Seth Conklin. Zachary Riley Hovey. Linacia Marie Abreu Munez. Logan Powell Ponzo. Ethan Robert Knoop. Ramaya Christiana Morell. Cannon Davis Newell. Luke Justice McKnight. Quentin Spencer Paul Morris. Harlan Favor Walters. Bradley Joseph White. Oh yeah, Brad. Oh yeah, Brad. South Lapatina McDowell. <laughs> Chloe Elizabeth Palmer Nevue. Aiden Lee Byron. Roy DeMond Cotman Jr. Kaylee Ann Brewer. Hannah Jeanette Fordham. Jesslyn Jacob. Grace Madison Dawson. Maybell Ann Dunn. Adriana Salvador Feliciano.
Karan Montrell Frazier. Alexandra Noel Ainsley. Sarah Paola Ramirez Cat. Latavia Nicole Robinson. Ashley Nicole McGuire. Daisha Renee Taylor. Michael Carlson Shelley. Kalia Destiny Williams. Jada Niala White. Kayla Marie Watts. Caitlin Erica Morton. John Philip Murphy. On Kong Clayton Don. Bachnane Winston Don. Narciso David Alvarez. Hadid Ahmad Bawaya. Ingrid Daniela Dixon. Hallie Marie Gentry. Isla May Dabney. Charlotte Michaelis Burgess. Jessica Elissa Hale. Adamaris Berenice de la Cruz. Joshua Isaiah Porter. Daniel Aiden O'Neill. Gabriel Thomas Reginald. Carlos Ivante Logan. Kiana Monique Walker. Lakela Leanne Morris. Yeah. 
Torrance Darnell Randolph. Najiana Yaljelis Brown. Malachi McKaylin Banks. Spencer Christian Clark. Ariadne Sophia Katerina Aristidou. Hold on. Henry. Henry Johns. Julieta Axel Franco Adorno. Brie Amariana Geneva Blackwell. Christopher Jameson Elder. Benjamin Paul Figs. Mohammed Saad Iliane. Peyton Lee Kin. Jaheem Moses Rochelle. Eric Christopher Rose. Sophia Isabel Reina Obregon. Kyle Christian Turner. Gianni Lamar Williams. Jamel Shaniqua Adderley. Michael Maceo Brown Jr. Nakaya Kimani Joyner. Thagis Raj Kadoth. Angela Nicole Hoveliano Pangianian. William Carter Lackey. Parents, families, Dr. Heron, distinguished guests, all invited guests, 
on behalf of the superintendent of schools and the faculty and staff at Lafayette High School. Will all seniors please stand? <laughs> seniors, you may now move your tassels from the right to the left. I proudly present the Lafayette High School Class of 2021. We thank everyone for joining us in this celebration today and wish each of you health, happiness, and success. To all the fathers present today, we hope you enjoy a spectacular Father's Day this weekend. We invite you now to witness the recession of this stadium. We ask that you take all your belongings, programs, and items as you exit the bleachers. Please remain standing until the graduates have left the stadium. You will be able to meet them out in the parking lot if you come out of the exit here that you entered. Have a safe and enjoyable summer, and thank you.